Hi there, this is Charlie, and in this video, I'm going to talk about putting a pin it to Pinterest button on your website or your WordPress website. In fact, not just a general website, your WordPress website. Now, one of the reasons you'll want to put a pin it to Pinterest button on your website is to encourage people to share your content far and wide this is just has is, is so powerful it's such a powerful concept to get people sharing your con your, your, your information yeah you hear about concepts going viral and this is one way you can encourage concepts to go viral is simply by giving people the ability to share your content now if I nip over to my blog but you'll see that all of my posts have the social sharing icons you can share it on Facebook you can tweet it uh, you can share via email I'm gonna have to drop that down you can share uh, using the share this widget and it's all automatically got a Pinterest thing in it uh, you can like it you can plus one it on Google I use the Evernote um, site memory button as well people can subscribe to it via RSS but adding a pin it to Pinterest button straight away so people can actually get in and and share it to their Pinterest community that's going to be really powerful for you so uh, I've, I've, here is my Pinterest account there's nothing in here that you can do at this point to connect this to your WordPress website. So what we're going to do is we're going to log into our WP Admin dashboard. We're going to install a plugin that will help you add this button to your website. So once you're in WP Admin, what I'd like you to do is go down to your plugins menu now I'm running WordPress 3.3.1 at the moment uh, the, the menu systems will differ slightly depending on what version of WordPress you're running but all of these menu items are in the same place just how they display will be different so when you go to plugins in WordPress 3.3.1 just mouse over it and uh, go down to the add new button in other versions you'll be able to click on the plugins uh, link it will open up the menu for you and then you can click on the add new button wait for that to load and then when it does load uh, you'll be put straight into the search window so you can search the WordPress repository for a pin it to Pinterest button uh, under term what I'd like you to do in the next clear field right next to the left of search the search plugins button put Pinterest and click on search plugins now there'll be a couple that come up most of the plugins that are available at the moment allow you to take your feed from Pinterest and display that on your site whilst that's cool and I really appreciate it what we really want to do here is get people sharing your content on the Pinterest network so what I'd like you to do, the best one I've found so far, is the Pinterest pin it button. Uh, it says take advantage of the exploding traffic Pinterest is generating. Once you've located it, it's the Phil Dirksen one. Uh, at the moment it's showing a 5 star rating and it's version 1.1.2. That may change uh, by the time you get to installing it on your site, but it will be something like that. It's called Pinterest pin it button and then I'll, all I'd like you to do is click on the install now button it will pop up a menu a, a little dialog box saying are you sure you want to install this plugin just click on OK and let it install itself okay so once it's installed you then want to go and activate it once the plugin is an activated uh, you'll hit you'll be dropped back into the plugin screen what you then need to do is scroll down the screen and you'll see in the left hand menu bar you get the pin it button uh, menu just click on it and that's going to drop you into the settings screen for the pin it button so on the settings screen it says what type of pages should the button appear on it says the blog the blog home page or latest post page now this is different to the front page which is uh, different from home page only if you're using the settings reading so what this means is if that if you've gone into settings reading and set a specific home page under that and you want the Pinterest button to show you need to click 
you need to check that button I don't have a different home, front page on my site I do want the Pinterest or I think I want the Pinterest button to appear on my home page so I'm going to make sure that that's clicked I definitely want it to show on my individual posts yes I do want it to show on my WordPress static pages uh, no I don't want it to show on my archives page scrolling down the screen a little or moving down the screen it says where on each page should the button appear above the content below the content on post excerpts now it also says you can use a short code to display the button within content so what that means is that if you've got um, content where the pin it button is not going to show by default through these settings you can actually use the short codes open square bracket pin it close square bracket and that's going to put the pin it to Pinterest button for you for those of you that want to code your own template or theme files there is a function that you can use uh, within your theme files to put the pin it button exactly where you want it I'm not going to go through the custom CSS at this point uh, I'm just going to click on save changes we're going to go and have a look and see how that looks on my site the thing with most of these uh, plugins that automatically add content is depending on how your theme handles this content will depend on exactly where that button appears and how it looks so now that I've done that I'm actually going to uh, go back to my site and I'm going to click on home because I want to see what this looks like on my front page first of all okay so it's not showing in my slider which is okay I don't want it to show in my slider if I scroll down you'll see that I've now got the pin it button on the excerpt content on my home page and it's only showing on the top one it's not showing on the smaller ones because of the way the um, the content is being displayed now that's okay I can live with this being showed on the top one that that's all right you'll notice that it's showing above my continue reading button not down here with the rest of my share this buttons that's because of the way the pin it button is actually uh, shown within the content that's all right we will live with that for now it's easy and it gets the pin it, pin it button on your site I'm going to click on the podcast I'm actually going to go into the single post and when I go into the actual article and scroll down to the bottom uh, you'll see that my pin up button has automatically be added, been added just under my content but above my tags it's not being showed down here with my my uh, other content that's okay like I said that's got something to do with the way that my theme is working with it so when you put your pin up button on it may not appear exactly where you want it to if it doesn't appear exactly where you want it to you will need to then um, go in and actually edit your theme file and that's an advanced technique uh, that needs a little bit more experience to do but now that I've got a pin up button on my site what I can do is say pin it and click on pin it it brings up my pin it to Pinterest you'll see that we've got the cancel pin link right at the top of the screen so we can can it out uh, and then it shows every image on the screen that you might want to share with your community in this case I want to uh, pin the remove the first one the remove commissions in iDev affiliate I'm going to click on pin this okay so uh, there's the image that we want to pin I don't want it to go to photos I actually want this to go to my technology stuff uh, pin, pin board and I'm just going to copy a little bit out of the, the the excerpt that I've got there paste it in and then I'm also going to copy my URL and paste it in so people will know where they can actually go and watch this video and then if I click on pin it it was a, it was successfully pinned to my technology stuff pin board so if I go back to my pin it account mouse over my name at the top right hand corner and click on boards and find my technology stuff board here we go and click on that 
there is my my the pin that I've just pinned and if I click on that it will actually give me everything so you can see here that I've got the link to my site I've got the exit that I've pasted in and I've got the first screenshot of the video that I'm doing I've done and that is how easy it is to add a pin it to Pinterest button to your WordPress website I hope that's been helpful see you